Khan damn near killed me. It's November and I'm just now getting around to uh, my Dragon Con update because I was so traumatized by the, the, the circumstances that I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. That's not really true. Um, I mean, it was slightly traumatic in a first world kind of way, but I just, I'm lazy and I've been busy. So I'm gonna get better at these videos. I am, Audrey, I will. Um, in addition to just Go, just waiting till the last damn minute to finish all my costumes and I'm sewing, I'm sewing, I'm sewing and I'll be almost delirious and almost crying a little bit while I sewed. Um, that's never a good thing. Um, my husband was like, I thought, isn't this supposed to be fun? And I'm like, I am having fun. That was me sewing on a sewing machine. Sewing and sewing and sewing and sewing. Um, and I was just delirious. I was so tired. I never went to sleep. So I got, I packed, got it all ready. Um, I had a friend drop me off at the airport. I was flying Spirit Airline. Never done Spirit Airline before. Never will. Um, it wasn't really their fault what happened, but still, I'm never gonna fly that again. So I'm flying Spirit. I get to the ticket counter, exhausted, and just ready to take my 10 a.m. flight, make it into my hotel in Atlanta around like. I think 11.30 and I have the whole day to finish sewing things and I give her my itinerary and she's like you know this is at 10 p.m. right my flight for spirit was at 10 p.m. granted I should have looked closer but when I booked the flight like the first flight was 7 a.m. like why would I get up that early and the next one was 10 which I thought was a.m. because that made sense. I didn't realize there would be a 10 a.m. flight and then the next flight out of Dodge would be 10 p.m. Again, that's on me. So I quickly call my friend who hasn't left the um, airport area, picks me up, I go back home. I'm exhausted, I sleep, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so upset because I wanted to go to the, the bunny party and wear my bunny costume. And so, yeah. So uh, my mom kept calling me because I told her what happened and she's like, I'll buy you a new ticket. I'll buy you a ticket on Southwest. You'll get in Atlanta by like seven-ish. And I kept saying, no, mom, no, I don't want you to spend extra money for that. I have a ticket. And she's like, it's your birthday. I'll do it for your birthday. I said, and she kept calling me and I kept trying to sleep because I was exhausted. So I figured, let I me, mean, you're not going to stop my mom. If my if Cookie Morin wants something done, Cookie Morin's gonna get it done. So I decided, okay, you know what? Fine, I am going to fly. I'm gonna let her buy the ticket. I get to the airport and we sit in the airplane for like an hour and a half, two hours because of the weather. So I make it to <laughs> I make it to Atlanta still at like ten thirty anyway. So I'm like I tried to finish my bunny costume, it didn't work out. Hey there. So this is my 18th century Rococo dress. Um, robe, alangzes, something like that. I don't know. Um, from the, uh, what's it called? Janet Arnold pattern book. Had a hard time fitting this. Um, and I think part of the reason why I had such a hard time was one, I'm not really, you know, getting forced up in my way through things. And I didn't give myself enough time. And that is why, although I'm happy I finished this dress, um, I'm a little sad because I didn't give myself enough time, so it's not as good as it could have been. And one day, I'm going to rectify that problem. So I'm just going to show you what's going on with the dress. Um, the petticoat, um, actually the petticoats are super easy to make, so. And what I did to make this more African-esque, besides the fabric, um, it's trimmed on the bottom with, uh, cowrie shells. And I have cowrie shells up the front. Um, here's the back. I made little uh, fabric covered buttons, which I liked. Um, this dress form, I didn't put the, the corset on, but oh, it's right here. Because I didn't feel like fighting with it. Again, didn't give myself enough time, so I'm always hurrying. So there's just little mistakes that I'm not thrilled with. Um, the binding didn't catch on this, so the bone's going to stick out, so I have to repair this. Um, the top. Let me see, I'm going to. I'll raise you up. I'm gonna raise the roof. Raise the roof. Remember when that was a thing? Okay. So the top, as you can see, you can see the chemise, the shift um, shows. Um, 
and I didn't like that. And my um, and my corset showed too, so I kept trying to pull it up. I wore this for the um, Vintage Fold fa Fashion Show at Dragon Con, and I got a lot of good um, feedback. People really dug it, but you know, you see all your all the imperfections, and I wasn't happy. Like for the most part, this Dragon Con, I was not happy with my work. Um, what I'm going to do to rectify this situation, because it's like just, it's too big. But, ooh, raise the roof. Aha. Uh -huh. It's just too big. It gathers here. What I'm going to do is, um, aha, uh -huh, there it is. And I meant to do this before, but I thought maybe I could get away with it. I'm going to make a, a channel and put this drawstring in it, so... It's going gonna, it's gonna to draw it in and meet, so it's going to singe all this up so it's not going to be so floppy-woppy. That's a real word. Next up will be my African steampunk. This is my uh, steampunk jacket and African print. Um, I will show you the picture of the full costume right here. So yeah, um, this was a truly Victorian uh pattern. I really, I don't know the number, I'm sorry. Um, I really liked it. Um, in the back, I'm going to raise this up. Ha! Huh. So I really dug this. I've dug the style. Um, and uh, again, it wasn't completely finished when I went to Dragon Con. The lining wasn't attached and the, it's all just slightly haphazard. And it had to be, um, I had to put the buttons in and I thought to myself, self, Buttons is something that you can do in Atlanta. Don't worry about that. Work on other parts of your projects um, and do the buttons when you get to Dragon Con. And on the way, when I was in the airplane, I thought, wait, I don't have my sewing machine and I don't know how to do buttons by hand. How am I going to? But uh, it turned out I um, didn't have any buttons, didn't have no buttonholes, but I was given the suggestion to put it on and I basically just sewed my... Well, my course is not on here, so I can't close it. I sewed myself in. I stitched myself in. I put it in and then stitched it up. And it worked really nicely. You can really tell that um, I'm a slacker loser that didn't finish their costume for Dragon Con. So, um, yeah, uh, I wore this to the mechanical ball, and it was great. So, let's see what else is next. Yeah, I kind of messed up my video. I thought I was recording when I wasn't. So, this is the re recap of the recap. So, recap. Dragon Con was hard because I uh, waited till last minute. I'm not going to do that anymore. Um, I want to be better. Till next time. Bye.